Ken Salem has been crafting furniture for 18 years now. He says every piece of wood tells a story. Most of the wood he uses is salvaged from 17th, 18th, and 19th century barns, homes, and outbuildings. His work will be displayed at this weekend's Paradise City Art Show, and Connecting Point producer Dave Fraser visited Ken Salem and his Northampton workshop to learn more about the art of his craft. I was in the financial business about 15 years. My dad and family had started the Salem Cross Inn out of Westbrookfield, Mass. And in my college years, when I come home from, from school, I would uh, typically be asked to take down a barn that might be past repair, where we'd be adding on to the inn at that point. And in doing that, uh, one of the things that I noticed is how interesting it was to be taking these structures down built with American chestnut, which is a, a wood that doesn't exist any longer. So I'd give tours uh, in, in the inn and notice that people love to understand where wood came from, uh, why it came from a certain spot, and maybe why it was, was put up on a wall in a certain format. I left the financial business and started this business, Salem Board and Beam, and uh, started small. Small, small items. I did my first show at the Paradise City Arts Festival about 15 years ago and by the end of the first day I had almost completely sold out of my booth. I came home that night and started building again. <laughs> I take down these old barns that were past repair and noticed just an incredible uh, affinity. I, I just loved working with this wood. You would cut that wood and open it up after centuries of sitting in a spot. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, you could not find it in contemporary woods. There's timbers that are now sunk in the Great Lakes and some of the wood I've got out here on, on the premises is out of Quebec, sunk in timbers out of lakes out of Quebec. So I would then go out, take those trees and mill those trees and build a composite history on those trees. And so that comes with uh, the piece of furniture telling where that tree might have sat, where it might have looked out on, maybe even at times what type of uh, history that might be surrounding that tree, where the tree grew up. It becomes an interesting uh, opportunity to figure out what you can use these big pieces of wood in that would look right and feel right. Uh, so lots of times I'll cut these pieces of wood, bring them in my shop, and they might sit around for months before I actually figure out what to do with them. I do feel that um, if a piece of wood has been worked in the proper fashion and, and uh, laid out in the proper fashion, uh, that that energy will move people. So it becomes from, it goes from a conceptual idea to something that someone can come and touch and be involved with each and every day. What's happened is these big pieces of wood lots of times have voids in the middle of a tree. There might be a hole, a knot, and although they're beautiful, they need to be, they need to be dealt with. So we've come up with a process where we build a form. You'll see some of these tables and, and uh, pieces at the Party City Arts Festival this weekend. It will build forms around large pieces of wood and create bottoms, tops, and sides, and begin filling these voids with resins. It's a process that's taken me a couple years to figure out how to do, and in between the various pores and residence layers, I will add various medium. I might add rocks, I might add glass, and what's a very unique process, or a very unique look to it, is it becomes a seamless joint between the wood and the resin, a, a uh, seamless edge or a seamless top. The most satisfying is taking a piece of wood that looks to be quite unusable uh, and cutting that piece of wood and finding a diamond in the rough in that piece of wood and then turning that into a piece of furniture that people will go over to and can't help themselves but to want to touch it and feel it. It just feels nice to be able to build something and create something and something that will be carried on for generations in the way of what people might hold on to and pass on in their family.